much better do you feel right now that you're laughing? How much better do you feel that you're laughing? That's my point. It energizes you. I'm telling you, you don't need me to make you laugh. Uh, I, I mean, I love doing what I do, but you don't. And I'm not asking you to be funny in a stressful situation. I'm asking you to see the funny in a stressful situation. That's all I'm asking you to do is to give yourself that chance. And I know some of you are looking at me right now, you're going, gee, Steve, you know, uh, it makes sense, but sometimes the times are so tough that I just can't find the laughter. I respect that. But at, at any time in your life when you're feeling so stressed out that you can't find the laughter, that's your humor being urging you to find it. It's there. And give yourself a chance. One of the most profound things that I learned since I left the comedy forum to the speaking forum, and I want to share this with you, I learned what truly successful, happy, optimistic people know about life. They know that they're going to have good times and they're going to have bad times. Successful, happy, optimistic people are not exempt from the trials and tribulations of life, my friends. But they all have this uncanny way of shifting their focus. I want you to get this. That is to say that they allow themselves to temporarily step away from those moments that are bringing them down, causing them some kind of pain or some easy uneasiness, and they immediately start engaging in activities that lift them up and bring them joy. They focus on what's working in their lives instead of staying fixated on what isn't working. They bless the things that life has given them instead of cursing what life hasn't given them or what life is currently throwing at them. And they all have this magical way, it's the best word to use, of finding the laughter in between the tough times. Listen to me, my friends, you all have the power to do this. This is what I call a power shift in focus. A power shift in focus replenishes your spirit, nourishes your soul, the very essence of who you are, so that when you eventually do go back to those moments that were causing you some kind of uneasiness, you're going to find out that it won't be as overwhelming as it was before because you've calmed your nervous system down to the point where you can take control and you can intensify. You can get back to that optimistic side of you that's so much a part of you. You've just drilled into that negative stuff and you drilled for that optimism and you're bringing it up and you're using it to do what needs to be done. 